Hey everyone, how are you? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the serene change on home island. Aren't the flower bushes tranquil? I just adore this background. Today, we are going to be exploring Mythology Island. It is a world based off of Greek mythology, but since this is a kid-friendly game, a majority of elements we see in the myths, such as Zeus's pervy side, Persephone's abduction, and the king that ate himself to death, are either watered down or non-existent. It's still a decent story that introduces kids to ancient Greece and get them interested in mythology. I remember the last time I played this island was on mobile a couple years ago. Sadly, it was given an overhaul that made the story almost unrecognizable. We're going to look at what's changed, and if I'm not a fan of it, I can always play the classic version in the Steam port. This is more like a game review in the guise of a Let's Play, so why don't we get started? There we go. The background complements the music too. Ooh, this doesn't have it. The sword doesn't have an action. Or a special feature. But I got a leprechaun hat, so that's something. Yes, I know St. Patrick's Day was last month, and East. And Easter was last week, but Pop Tropica didn't have anything in stock over that holiday. And I haven't gotten anything done for Heliochoke Journey for that holiday. But I'm working on that. I commissioned one of my artists to design a an armor set. Armor set? Oh not an armor set, but a where but a wear rabbit for the Easter ad that's going to be coming out hopefully before May. I know, I know, I've been slacking off on that too, but in order to make my workload for the game series easier, I decided to put out seasonal ads before the end of the month rather than on the holiday because I figured that I figured that the holiday spirit would still be lingering throughout the entirety of the month, I know that the store I work at still has Easter candy in stock, so that's kind of what I'm going for there. Huh. Herc snack truck. Fresh fish nuggets. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so no thank you. You think these snacks look good? There is a fruit on Mythology Island that can make you a god, like me. This goes against Heliotrope Journey's canon, but my canon is not the act does not align with the actual myth. I mean, there are certain fruits or beverages that can make turn someone into a god. But in the Heliotrope Journey timeline, in order for someone to become a god, or at least gain certain magical powers, they'd have to get a god's blessing. Sort of the same as in the myths, when Hera, when Hera favored Jason, and Zeus favored multiple warriors and heroes. <sighs> Told you he was a pervert. Who are you? Aloyas, Keeper of the Winds. Why is the Keeper of the Winds selling snacks? I owe Zeus some money. You don't want to mess with that guy. That's kind of accurate. I'll check it out. Let's go. Go figure. I, we didn't even need the travel map. Don't like how I look, though. Whee! Oh, look, there's the Museum of Olympus. Beat the hero Hercules inside now. Megara told her to get a job, didn't she? She... Hercules has to, have a, has to have a side job when, there's no, when no one is in danger. Very 
even big name heroes have to have have to have small have to have dead end jobs too. It's kind of a way for them to stay grounded, I suppose. Did you hear about the golden trip? Uh, Apple at the Tree of Immortality? I sure did. I wish I could get one. Immortality sounds so great. If I had that apple, I'd feed it to my goat. Let me guess. It's the goat pan. It's locked, and that's one hefty padlock. Only a hero as mighty as Hercules can open that door. This is definitely, definitely not the mythology island I remembered it. It's not the mythology island I remember. Last time I checked, Aphrodite was not at the gym. Did you come to gaze upon a lovely goddess? No, but do you have anything for my quest? Ugh, fine, I'll help you. Take this man, I've already memorized every detail of my perfect face anyway. What quest? What is she talking about? Also, uh, sorry if I didn't read the whole speech bubble. The dialogue, it tends to go but tends to be cut pretty short, and so I didn't bother trying to speed read. Cut, no. Be easier if they split it up into two speech bubbles. You have to admit, I'm gorgeous. Okay, sure. The Grove of Temples is on your right. You have to admit, I'm gorgeous. Okay, sure. Well, thanks for the advice. I mean, it's mandatory to admit to Aphrodite she's gorgeous. Proclaiming a woman it proclaiming another woman is more beautiful than her is an offense. Standards of beauty were awfully high back then. I'm gonna try reading that again, I was a little groggy. Did you hear about the golden apple, the tree of immort immortality? I sure did. I wish I could get one. Immortality sounds so great. If I had that apple, I'd feed it to my goat. What's this? Come, brothers. We must defeat the Titans. I rule the underworld. I rule the seas. I rule the heavens. All must bow before me. I will never bow to you, brother. Nor I. Okay, that's one way to summarize the tight Kanamaki in a nutshell. What, if, what happened to Gaia's birth or the de or how Kronos slew his father in an epic battle? But... He defeated his father by castrating him, which is not appropriate for kids. Obviously, that wouldn't be featured in the game, because then it would give Pop Tropica an R rating. <laughs> Can you imagine Pop Tropica rated R? Athena, Zeus's daughter, is as sharp as one of his thunderbolts, which is why she is known as the Goddess of Wisdom. She is also a warrior goddess. Olives, snakes, and spiders are all sacred to Athena. Hephaestus, the skilled son of Zeus and Hera, could star in his own home. Home improvement show if he wanted to. He is a god of blacksmiths and other craftsmen. He can make an armor no, no, that no arrow can pierce. He can make armor that no arrow can pierce. Demeter. Thank Demeter every time you eat a sandwich. The goddess of grains and the harvest of Zeus's sister. 
Hera, Queen of Olympias and Guardian of Women and Children. Peacocks are sacred to Hera. Because Argus' eyes are on their feathers. Dionysus, the god of wine, he often leads mortals astray. <laughs> he gave him king of he gave the king of power to turn any everything he touches to gold, so yeah, that counts as leading him astray, I'll admit. Hermes, this son of Zeus, is the messenger of the gods. Thanks to the thanks to the wings, cap, and sandals his dad gave him. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, sprang from li into life from the bone of the sea. Sprang into life from the foam of the sea. This rose is sacred to Aphrodite, although whatever you do, don't compare it to a rose. Aphrodite thinks she's more beautiful than any flower on earth. That would be an understatement. <laughs> and that reminds me of a myth involving Aphrodite. Someone proclaimed that there was a princess even more beautiful than Aphrodite, so Aphrodite cursed the daughter to fall in love with her father. That is the most hysterical instance of incest I've ever read, but... <sighs> <laughs> but the Olympians are more inbred than the Slytherin family. Yep, you heard me right. Each and every Greek god and goddesses are either brother and sister and cousins and the cousins. They all married into each other, which is super, super gross when you think about it. Artemis, Apollo's twin sister, is more of a nature girl. She is the goddess of hunting and protector of young animals. She always carries a bow and, an a bow and arrow. Ares, tougher than a mixed martial arts fighter, this son of Zeus is the god of war. His battle cry alone can bring down warriors in the battlefield. Isn't that what a rooster can do? Apollo, the original rock star, the shining star of Zeus, is the god of sun. The shining star of Zeus is the god of the sun and music. His followers include the nine muses, minor goddesses who lend creative inspiration to those who ask. Hestia, Zeus's older sister, is the goddess of hearth and home. When she was a kid, she never got in trouble for having a messy room. Oil and water are sacred to her. Um, uh, that and she made Zeus promise that she remain a virgin forever. A donkey protected her from a say once, hence why this animal is also sacred to her. And there's the big three. Poseidon, Zeus's brother, rules the seas from the smallest plankton to the largest sea monster. And he's the father of a lightning thief. Hades, this deadly serious god rules the underworld. He's the brother of He's the brother of Zeus and Poseidon, and the pomegranate is a sacred fruit. Because he fed, he fed the fruit to Persephone, making her stay for six months out of the entire year. Wonder how the ancient Greeks would explain global warming. Zeus. Zeus defeated his brothers Poseidon and Hades to become the king of the gods. Don't mess with Zeus! Okay, so the so the descriptions given to the given to the Olympian gods in this game it somehow makes the travel book in the Lord in Lords of Shadow more Im immersive. Maybe it's to keep kids engaged, though I'd much rather prefer a more detailed description. Trust me, I get bored of those easily. I get... Simplistic descriptions of bore me easily, I meant to say. It's not that they're not interesting, it's just that I... It's just that I quickly lose interest when someone says, Oh, Zeus can carry lightning. Like, 
How? Like how? I mean, how? What are down descriptions of the Olympians in Pachapaca got me asking questions like how and why? How? How are these objects sacred to the gods? And why is there bad blood between the brothers? That's what would get kids interested in studying Greek mythology. Climb the steps to get to the Apple of Immortality. Cool, I'll go find it. What is the Tree of Immortality doing in the town? Doing in town? Liked it better when it, when it was on the outskirts of town because that so because that way that way the tree is more just great. Also, if the tree is placed right in the middle of town, wouldn't it make obtaining the tree of immortality and incurring the wrath of the gods more tempting? Goodness. Talk about a safety hazard. In search of the golden apple, eh? Good luck to you, child. Things aren't always what they seem. I wouldn't cross this bridge right now. The Sphinx is in a foul mood. I'll come back later. Even in the myths, always wise to listen to the elderly. They could be deities in disguise. Kinda like how they made the modern signs look resemble the architecture. It's kinda neat. Though that ad is an eyesore. Is there a way to disable them? Guess not. Well, best to climb the tr Zeus plus Hera. Yeah, right. Hera hates his guts. Beware the fruit. Oh, that snake looks. That snake look looks hungover. We. Wow, it's like I'm a mush in Mushroom Hill on Angel Island. Except angels don't exist. At least, not in this world. Oh, there's the fruit! But it's out of reach. Well, it's kind of... Oh well, guess we're going to go back to town and wait for the restaurant to open up. Can you help me get the golden apple? The nymphs hit all my honey. Collect ten jars if our time runs out and I'll help you. In the actual mess, it's the other way around. It's the styres who'd mess with the nymphs. Whoever wrote Mythology Island probably have never have never heard of the Niyaz. If anything, the styres are perverts. Make sure it don't bounce very well.
Thanks for the honey. Use this secret path to reach the apple. It wasn't that secret. It's just it was just hidden behind these bushes. You could have just I could have just climbed up there and blended right in with the leaves. Though the game probably wouldn't allow that. Alright, time to tempt fate. Well, I think I'll be leaving now. Who has picked it up of immortality? Um, sorry, do you want it back? I will grant you immortality, but first you must perform a task. What if I refuse? Then all the pop tropica will feel my wrath! Okay, then what do I have to do? And he leaves a scroll behind instead of just giving me a straight answer. Okay, let me see. So far the story is how I remember it, though I got the touch screen mirror much sooner than I much sooner than than I originally want originally did. So far I'm not really a fan of Aphrodite just handing a random person a mirror. Find these five secret items and return them here to me. When you have found them all, the gift of immortality will be yours. A flower from the Garden of the Sphinx, the Golden Ring of the Minotaur, a scale from the Hydra, a giant pearl from the Kingdom of Poseidon, a whisker from Cerberus, the Guardian of the Underworld. It'll be an achievement if I can, if I can achieve this in one sitting. But if it gets too late, it'll have to be a two-parter. The cloaked woman is Athena in disguise. Okay, Athena is showing off. And she's not stopping. Give me just a second. Excuse me. So now it decided to cooperate, but that takes care of that. And Athena's gone. Look at look to the olive trees if you need my help. Good to know. Okay, first things first, I'll go visit the Sphinx. Mm, best not disturb this princess. She's asleep. Enter here to obtain the golden ring. Didn't I need to play a musical note to enter this door? Why is Athena being so specific? To gain one of my flowers, you must pass my test. What do I have to do? What once was wet is now dry up. When once again the water flows, then I grow to one rose. Is it just me or is this... Is she not even trying on her riddles anymore? That 
Bruno is obvious. I need to go up to the aqueduct. I need to go up to the aqueduct. Float. Go to the aqua dock. Good. Change the use these switches to change the direction of the river. Which will allow the which will allow the water to which will allow the water to ch to change this mud pit into a pool. Allowing the flower to be a full bloom. Just need to push that bridge down and... Voila! I created not just a pool, but a waterfall. Cool already. It's a shame I have to take the rose though. That's one down. Your fate awaits you. I'm glad she decided not to kill me. I mean, that's probably what that pile of bones is there for. Am I gonna fight the Minotaur next? I am the Minotaur. What are you doing here, shrimp? Uh, can I please have the ring in your nose? Ha! You'll never get it. Besides, I only grant favors to those who make it out of the lab once. Sounds easy enough. I'll let you enter once you beat the snake challenge. Snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? Now that's just corny. The red-eyed snake now holds your face. Catch her thrice to raise the gate. What is with this game being so lenient? I remember playing- re I remember having to complete that challenge after I make it after I complete the labyrinth, not before. Proceed to the labyrinth. And no battle with the Minotaur? How disappointing. The labyrinth is a puzzling maze. You may have to retrace your steps. Am I in Crete? This can't be right. Minotaur lives in the cave, not the Minonian Palace. And there's the ghost of a star. Who are you? I was once known as Pan. Oh, so it's not that goat in the town, but rather a phantom. Can you help me through the labyrinth? Remember this, there is more than one way to read the bones. Fifteen bones of ancient men. Take back six, but still leave ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. A preschooler could figure that out.
there's our there's our obstacle. In fact, our only obstacle. Just one scorpion? That's it? Hey, look at me! I made it to the exit! Hee hee ha! I can't believe you did it with those tiny noodle legs. So, can I have the ring now? I suppose. Here. I suddenly feel uncomfortable owning something that lived in your nose. You better get out of my hair or I may eat you. Is that a boss fight? Mortals get on my nerves. Go away or I just may eat you. If I stay, will that lead to a boss fight? That's a no. Loathing this island already. happen? You look as if you have been set on a special errand. The Temple Grove will help you on your quest. Thanks. She seems nice. Of course, why else would that tree be there? Now it feels like District 12 because, because who knows how many times someone has tried to grab an apple and got zapped to death by Zeus. Or turned into some gruesome monster. Wasn't there a temple here before? Free reed pipes. Get out and make beautiful music. You are worthy of my guidance. Play this song for the three-headed dog and you will fall asleep. What the... What the fuck? Before I needed to complete a challenge where I would imitate the tunes on imitate the tunes on the reeds. Instead, instead, I'm just given the wreath and I'm just given the wreath and right away I'm given the notes to put Cerberus to sleep. There's no challenge here. Greetings. Have a free pipe. Thanks. Though, so, could I have another one just to, just to give to Hara Kid? I'm sure he might like it. To enter the temples of Hades and Poseidon, you will need to place an offering on these offers. On their altars. Godspeed. Glad they kept that in. And speaking of offerings... I'll see if this restaurant's open back up. I mean, I don't know if Horror Kid would like a read. His birthday's coming up. After all, so it would be a good time to get him a present. Out for lunch. How long is their break? Okay, so the pomegranate fruits are in plain sight, so we... there's our challenge.
JK there on that tree, why did I think to look at that restaurant when it was next to that... Next to that altar the whole time? What kind of island is this? This is a joke! Music soothes the savage beast. That's true. Good advice to live by. Hades is a deadbeat. Down with Hades. Hades has deathly breath. If you help me clean up this graffiti, I'll give you a fun surprise. Gladly. Just whistle while you work, mm -hmm. and cheerfully together we can tidy up the place. So hum a merry tune. Mm -hmm. It won't take long when there's a song to help you set the pace. And as you sweep the temple, imagine that the brush is someone that you love, and soon your time sing to the tune. Just whistle while you work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When hearts are high, the time will fly. So whistle while you work. Thanks for your help, here's your fun surprise. Starfish, twinkle twinkle little star. Definitely is a surprise. There's the sarcasm. Door, this door is open. I better put something on the altar. I could have sworn the altar was indoors. Now Persephone can stay all year, and we can have an everlasting winter. Wee! Jeez. I thought that was a real dog for a second. I hope you've brought a lullaby to woo this beast to sleep. Aren't you going to take me on a ride? Aren't we going to go for a ride? Ride in the river sticks? Where's the thrill in that? That minigame is gone too? This island is glitchier than Sonic 06. Okay, blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green. Now there's a real challenge. I have to memorize that. I have to memorize these notes. Why you over Cerberus growling constantly? Okay, let's see. Blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green. Blue, green, blue, yellow, blue, red, green. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Green, yellow, blue, red, green. Blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green. Blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green. That wasn't hard. I 
and I came out without a scratch. Literally. I'm not strong enough to enough, but I bet Hercules could move it. Nah, he's with Megara right now. Oh, that was a total bust. No ride in the river sticks. No ride in the river sticks. Being offered a to read the, the song to put Severus to sleep on the spot. Already, this is because already my um this trip the trip to mythology island is a bust because of how toned down the difficulty is. In fact, in fact, it's so easy that I'm falling asleep. No wonder I'm groggy. to clean that up too? I don't mind, I clean all the time. Just look at this graffiti. I heard that Zeus did it. You, I heard that Zeus did it. You'd think a god would have better handwriting. I hope you've brought an offering. Well, Zeus does engage in mischief, so... Kinda accurate. I like your board. Enter this door for a deep dive, little burrow. I'm a good swimmer. Sweet! I'm Triton. My old man is the king of this place. That's rad. Totally. This incarnation of Triton reminds me of Larry the Lobster from Spongebob. There you are. A starfish as your offering. Now I can get inside. I like your board. Enter this door for a deep dive, little dude. I'm a good swimmer. Sweet. I'm Dryden. My man is the king of this place. That's rad. Totally. I take it, Brock. He reminds me of Crush and Finding Nemo. No beach either? Oh, come on! Finally, a challenge. I don't have the strength to break through this barrier. Let me guess, we need Hercules' help. Ouch! Don't know if I should be satisfied that they implemented a hurt, that they implemented a da implemented a damage effect. This must be where the Hydra is. Ouch. And the Hydra has 
got knocked out anyway. I swear it's not that it's not that easy to defeat the Hydra in the actual myth. Like I want an actual battle. Just like that, I'm back in front of the tree. I see you have the five objects. I have learned something about them. They are dangerous. What do you mean? Take a closer look at those clues. Whoever wields the five sacred objects will rule all of Pop Tropica. So Zeus was using us all this time. This is predictable. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. Now I can control all of Pop Tropica. What about my immortality? Foolish mortal is just using you. Give them back. Not a chance. Soon all of Pop Tropica will be under my control. <laughs> this is not good. Only the power of the setting in Hades can stop my father. What do I do? Hercules can help you reach them. I'll go get Hercules. May the gods be with you. <laughs> that girl is so chill. Girl. Zeus, Zeus bursted out of nowhere and she's just looking at us like it's just another day. Oh, so he's back from lunch already. Or at least pleasing Meg. Or at least being tender to Megara. I need your help. Your dad wants to roll Pot Tropica. Come with me and see Hades and Poseidon. Sorry, kid. I ate way too much for lunch. I can barely move. No problem. I got a magic mirror to get us there. First things first, we'll start with Poseidon's realm. That easy to persuade him? And... <laughs> and Hercules being a lazy bum is something I did not expect. Looks like you could use a hand, or rather, a foot. See? You're not lazy. Wow, thanks! No problem, kid. I'll wait here for you. Not that he ate too much lunch. It's not that he ate too much for lunch. He was just lazy. This guy, can you believe him? Architecture is pretty nifty, too. Poseidon, your brother Zeus is mad with power. I know. It's time to put an end to this. Can you stop him? You must fight him alone, but I'll help you. Take this. Thank you. Thanks. How do I use this? You'll see. Okay. Me at work every day. is so vague. And the next thing I know, Hades is going to be acting out of character. Where to next? The underworld, in other words, Hades realm. A little pebble like this is no match for Herc's mighty muscles. Yep, you're just lazy. 
Go on ahead. I'll be waiting out here. Too scared to face Hades after bringing his dog up after taming his dog. Jeesh. When did you become so cowardly all of a sudden? Hades is thrown his throne room is homier than I expected. Look at the gargoyles, they're adorable. Adorable. Is that pain and panic? Hades, I could use your help with Zeus. If you're planning on taking him down, count me in. Can you stop him? I can't leave the underworld, but my crown can. Take this with you. <laughs> Thanks. What do I do with it? You'll see. I don't want to spoil the ending of the story. Makes sense. Uh... Not only did Hades break character, but he broke the fourth wall, too. Seriously? The dialogue is so bad and lazy that I'm starting to fall asleep. Where to next? And wasn't Aphrodite's symbol, wasn't Aphrodite's heart on that mirror once? The kid is locked. Locked to puny mortals like you, maybe, but not to the mighty Hercules. Watch and learn, grasshopper. After you? What a gentleman! Thank you! Yikes! Is that what I think it is? It's just a pesty snake. I'll take care of it. You picked the wrong snake to mess with, buddy! Medusa! Uh-oh, this is not good. And just like that, she's gone, and I'm on my own. You're on your own, kid. You always have been. Oh, Megara's not gonna like that. Well, he's Megara's problem now. Weren't you at the snack shack just a half hour ago? I'm impressed you made it this far. You deserve a free windbag from an old windbag like me. Thanks, this will give me a boost to the top of Mount Olympus. Didn't I need to pay you like a legitimate customer? Where our characters are Mary Sue. We that was fun. Our characters are fucking Mary Sue's in the story. This must be a joke. Heed this lesson that my uncles never learned. Two powers combined would defeat the power of one. Up we go!
why am I even threatened? I bet the boss fight is gonna be a snap. So there's nighttime ASMR for you to listen to while I walk towards certain death. Not even intimidated in the slightest. Foolish mortal! How dare you trespass in my realm! Now you and my brothers will suffer my wrath! Not if I can help it! This was the highlight of playing Mythology Island, and I hope... I hope we don't turn it into a joke. In fact... It's the only good part about this island. Yeah, I'm totally kidding. Zeus is frozen. Zeus is frozen. Zeus is frozen in place whenever I hit him. I give up! I give up! Tom, here! Take these back! I don't want them anymore! Just please don't hurt me! Well done! You saved Pop Tropica. What about Zeus? He'll ha have to be satisfied with ruin the heavens of mythology all in for now. Please take this reward as a token of my gratitude. Suddenly, God of War sounds like more sounds like it's more fun to play. Well done, you saved Pop Tropica. Now I can sit, now I can take a nap. I don't think I'm allowed on this throne, but. Zeus is being a str Zeus is being a stroppy old man, so who cares? But I'm gonna need to take I'm going to need a change of clothes. The jetpack and the bug rider are new were new to the store. How glitchy is this menu?
Crown's not even off. Why do I have a pacifier right here? I don't know. Zeus needs a champion, and he wants you. Battle monsters, swim the depths of the ocean, and descend into the underworld. Will you emerge a hero? Yes, and all while I didn't battle a single monster. The difficulty's deceiving. The creator's blog has been radio silent for two months. Though it, the official Pot Tropica, though the official Pot Tropica team, though Pot, though Pot Tropica's team tweets updates on Twitter. Post updates on Twitter. They recently announced that this island, that this, uh, that Mission Atlantis is open to members. With its first part now open to all players. That was an eyesore mythology island, but it's neat decoration here. And even though Zeus was put in his place, you still owe him money. Okay, the honey cake and pomegranate punch, so... Three out of... Four items on the menu are vegetarian. look unusual. Nothing in here remarkably stands out except this hoodie, which is for members only. How disappointing. That's a new- that mount is new. I gave it a try on Monday, and... Monday, and it felt like I was playing Mario Kart. But when the Transformers minigame was- During the time the Transformers minigame was around, that's how it kind of felt too, except I hated it. But if I were to give me But... I would give Mythology Island two stars. One star because I like the music, the ambience, yes, the music, the ambience, and the backgrounds. The art is pretty good. And two stars because, and the other star is. And 
and the other star because it was engaging enough for me to pass the time. Okay, so, two... Mythology Island has two stars. Didn't like it. At least it's lucky that I didn't give it a one star. That's all I can say. Well, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good night.